Hello and welcome back to the channel ladies and gentlemen. Today we have a very special chess puzzle from 1936 and it is special because white checkmated black with only pawn and a king. So truly a spectacular way to checkmate someone and no it's not a clickbait it's a real thing you will see it of course in the position. If you wish you can pause the video and try and find the solution for yourself and as always if you like the video please make sure to leave a comment like and share because it really helps me a lot. So as you can see white king is in a really difficult spot here on e5 because it's surrounded by our pieces and it doesn't have much squares to go. So we must exploit that as white. That is the reason why first move is f4 check. Now black has two solutions he can go on d5 he can go on f5. If he goes on f5 we win by playing knight d4 check and after the king goes on g4 we will simply pick up black's rook and we will win the game. So after f4 if black king goes on d5 then we continue with tricky move f5. Now after f5 we are forking this bishop and this rook and the only way black can survive this position although it doesn't seem like this on the first look is to play something like rook e8 and sacrifice his piece. After that we will continue by picking up his piece and after c5 we will continue by knight f4 check. After king c6 we will continue with knight h5 and after rook g8 we will continue with g7 and this is a lost game for black that is obvious but at least he didn't get checkmated and he can maybe try and counter our attack. After f5 if black decides to pick up our pawn with his bishop this leads to an amazing checkmating attack. See if you can spot it yourself, you can pause the video as well. The solution firstly is playing knight f4 check. And after the only move for black king e5, now of course we will not pick up this rook. We will continue by playing rook d1 and we are preparing a checkmate threat on d5 with our rook. The only way black can defend this threat is to play c6. After that we continue with beautiful sacrifice rook d5 check. Now black cannot pick up this rook with his king so he is forced to pick up with his pawn. After that we will continue with knight d3 check. Again, king has no other squares but to pick up our knight. And after e picks up on d3, we finish with beautiful f4 checkmate. So this is a real position from a real game and just shows you how beautiful and rich the game of chess is. And this is all I prepared for you today. I really appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to leave a comment, like and share as it really helps me a lot. And we will see each other in the next video. I wish you a pleasant night. Bye bye.